Hello and welcome to another Flagstick Golf Magazine podcast. I'm Editorial Director for Flagstick Golf Magazine, Scott McLeod. On April 29th, Nike Golf will introduce their 20XI family of golf balls. We recently sat down with Mike Pye, Global Director for the Golf Ball and Bag Business for Nike Golf, in Portland, Oregon, at their Oven West Research and Development Facility to discuss how the 20XI golf ball family will change the golf ball business for Nike. I want you to talk to you a little bit about the impact of 20XI, the expectations for it, and uh, how you think it might revolutionize the business for Nike Golf. Well, I, I think the, 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 the impact and the expectations, I used to have hair, so if you want to know about the, what we're expecting from this, that, that, that kind of gives you an idea. But, you know, the, the impact, and, and Cindy Davis, our president, has said on more than one occasion, this is the biggest launch we've had possibly in the history of the company because we believe it's such a, a revolutionary um, product and it's such an innovative product. And, 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 and quite honestly, our ball business has, uh, has not performed to our expectations over the last few years. And there's a lot of different reasons for it, the economy you know, and all that. Um, we've had really, really good golf balls. Um, but we haven't really had anything from the standpoint that, that we're, we were able to sort of latch on and say, this is sort of truly groundbreaking. But we, we've had really good balls. Um, and, and that's why four years ago, Rock asked the question, you know, what's next? You know, should we just keep iterating off the same technology? No, because that, that, then you're just going to get sort of what, what everybody else has. Mm -hmm. So the impact of this, I think, is huge because it's, you know, over the last few years, as I said, our ball, our, our pre, particularly the premium end, our, our premium ball brands um, haven't performed, you know, the way we need them to perform to create a halo over the rest of our product line. This, um, it's not only is it uh, is it a, is it a, an interesting story, an innovative story, it's an easy story to tell because. You know, all we have to do is go back to it all starts with that resin core, and the resin core provides four very, very key benefits. You know, in the past, when you're trying, golf balls are really complicated things. So when you're trying to describe the benefit of what something new in a golf ball does in, in sort of the previous generation, it's, it's, not, it's not easy to do. Um, with, with this, it's an easy story to tell. And then you combine that with the performance that we've seen and the adoption by you know our, our our tour staff, and that's why we know we have something really really big. And and you know the great thing is the 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 story is interesting enough that a lot of the the the, the tech heads out there and and a lot of the the equipment blogs and you know a lot of writers are really intrigued by it, and it's created a lot of interest. You that, know, er, that early adoption by the players, obviously, that's important for you guys. I mean, you see that result right away. I mean, it's. It's not always an easy process to get the players to transfer over in something new. No, it's and, and in fact, not, not just something new. It's it's something that's completely different. So, um, you know, the the golf ball is probably the hardest thing for almost every player. And Anthony Kim, um, you know, had said it. I heard him say this about switching golf balls. In that, you know, the golf ball has to perform with 14 clubs on 18 holes. If you switch a driver, it has to perform with, with the driver is one, affects one shot per hole. Uh, the golf ball affects every single shot. So you have to understand how what a ball does, which is why it's so hard for players to switch balls. Now, they're always looking for something that's better than what they have. And, and the fact that we've had such rapid adoption by a lot of our tour staff proves to us the performance that we know that the scientists on their machines and in their labs see is proven out where it matters, which is on the golf course. So it tells us that the performance is there, and then because they're doing that and they're playing it, it tells our consumers that okay, Nike's you know Nike, if Nike's tour staff is doing it, then we know that there has to be something to it. But to to, to transfer people over, it's, it's difficult one generation of the same product to the next. So. You know, when we had the, you know, the one black and platinum and going to the one tour and tour D, that's, you know, you, you, again, whether, whether, whether it's the same, you know, type of technology um, or something completely different, players are going to look at it and say, how is this going to, what we've done with 20XI is that it performs the way we developed and designed it to perform 
for every club in the bag. And that's what the benefit is to not just the tour players, but everybody else. Yeah, and I want you to address that a bit. I mean, what uh, level or what type of player should expect that, you know, they're mm -hmm. going to make use of this ball and they're actually going to get something out of it? What kind of range does it really cover for the two models? Well, I, you know, I, I think it, it, you know, obviously the, 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 the ball was designed to be, to be played at the, at the highest level. But the benefit of the technology, so the ball speed, the spin slope, um, sort of concept. The benefits of that technology uh, work for a really wide range of players. So when you when you when you sort of think about it, you know, a, a lot of it has to do with what what is the goal? What is your goal as a player? So if I'm a golfer, if I'm a consumer, and I'm a whatever handicap, ten handicap, fifteen handicap, what do I want to do? If all I want, if all I care about is hitting the ball as far as humanly possible. There are balls that can do that. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you, that, that, you, that you take 20XI. It'll go far for you, but there's a lot of other benefits that, that, that you may not care about that are in the ball. I think what a ball like 20XI does is I think it opens up the world of sort of this tour level, quote unquote, you know, use that term, product, to a lot more wider range of golfers because typically in the past, tour level product, because of the soft nature of the cover um, that spins more um, isn't really uh, for, for, for a lot of people it'll spin too much they can't hit it as far with this because we know the ball you know we, we can make that up with ball speed and we make that up with, with, with the MOI so this this allows this technology allows us to bring that benefit mm -hmm. to a wider range of golfers uh, but again it all depends on what your goals are you know if if you're looking for performance around the green without sacrificing distance off the tee, a tour level product is something you should always look at because they are the ones who are going to perform the best around the green. We just feel we've, we, we've been able to close that gap a lot further than other companies have with this technology. And again, if all you care about is hitting as far as humanly possible, there are balls that can do that too. And now you've got, uh, you know, there's four years, almost five years, I guess, invested mm -hmm. in this product as far as R&D and development. Um, you know, in your opinion, obviously, does this set up a platform that Nike can build on for the future? You know, it, it's a great question because 20XI, and we, this is what we've said all along, 20XI is a first application of resin core technology. There will be future applications of resin core technology across the board for all different types um, of players. You know, it, it is, uh, and, you know, the, the, the resin core itself, we, we certainly know a lot about it because we've worked with it and all that. But we're just scratching the surface because it's a whole new direction. What are the possibilities? And those possibilities are what opens up this sort of degrees of freedom of design depending on what type of performance we might be looking for. So yeah, this is our platform. So, and, and that's one of the great things about this too is that I think in the past if you had asked people, well, what does Nike golf ball stand for? I, I think you, there's about a hundred things people might say. You know, with this, what does Nike Golf Ball stand for? The Nike Golf is the resin core company.